I don't know if I want to do this anymore. It's so difficult. I Hey Free Spirits, welcome to Free Spirit Art Dolls. Today's video is a tag, so I hope you'll join along as well when I tag you in the end. But the tag question is, how has your reborn in journey been so far? Describe that your journey in five words, and you can explain also why you chose those words, and I'll get started. If you are not a reborn artist, describe your collecting journey in five words as well so let's get started so i'm here with baby girl she's the first reborn i have made oh and you know i always have to support her head i have to remember that so you say hi hi if you're interested in the name reveal don't forget to like comment on this video let me know you want to know what her name is that you want me to do a name reveal for her she's my very first Reborn but now I'm a painter and that's how I started and she's my first Anyway, so she just Getting ready to fall asleep for good. So I'll put her down after this video so And yes, I know that she's a baby doll <laughs> But I'm still gonna rock her because it's also soothing for me haha <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna work her like she's a real baby, okay? Okay, so I have my fingers interlaced, so it's easy. She is five pounds, six ounces. Check out my video where I introduced her. Okay, so back to the video. Tag, five words that describes my reborn journey so far. First is magical. Magical in that when I first saw the reborns and I saw how realistic they looked, how like babies they looked, I was like, wow. So it was like magical because it opened my eyes to something I didn't even know existed, right? We all grew up seeing dolls, having dolls. And um, yeah, I remember my first doll was this huge, well, huge, as in toddler size um, doll with blonde hair, you know, bangs and two, you know, ponytails that we, I would put our hair in. And she sat by the TV. <laughs> Um, and yeah, she was Caucasian, blue eyes. I believe now I have to see whether I remember, whether I have a picture. I don't think I do, but, um, she had on a sweater and a dress. <laughs> Seems a bit strange, right? But she did have on something long sleeve and then a dress and it was really cute. So that was my first doll, but so magical. So far, the reborn journey has been magical. Yeah, especially knowing that I can have my hand at reborn in one of these sweethearts. And I can't wait to improve my skills and I can't wait to, to make my next babies. And I can't wait to reveal to you my next baby because my next baby is done. But um, they are waiting for hair. I would like to perhaps paint their hair during the Yvonne Nathers hair painting class, which I'm enrolled in over the weekend. And I'm very excited for it. I found this out from Jill and from her channel. My heart is in Vermont. Thank you. But yeah, I want you to be able to see her as well. I have to say, I really like um, closed eye kits because they just look so peaceful and they're sleeping. Okay, so. Word number two is a roller coaster. So I wanted to start with something positive, like clearly more positive, and that was magical. But roller coaster because it has been quite a journey so far. I mean, when I feel like I'm doing something well, then it drops down, and then I'm like, oh my god, and then it drops back. It's just like a little roller coaster, and it's ever changing. So I just have to keep positive. Like last night was a really di low dip in the roller coaster, where I just you know, I had tried to do a second crease and it just wasn't going so well. And I was just, I freaked out. And I was just like, I don't know if I can do this anymore, it's so difficult. And yeah, I was just like freaked out. I was just 
in panic trying to get um, my babies finished for Yvonne Nather's hair painting class and I was just like it's just not going well but what, what really um, made me feel even worse is that I tried to like reduce creasing under the eye and then you know I was going so hard with a toothpick that I removed a little bit of flesh layer right here and that's so irritating and that's what really set me off because I was already feeling bad I shouldn't have been you know touching <laughs> any any paintbrush at all I shouldn't have been touching a sponge or a paintbrush my second word is roller coaster my reborning journey so far has been a roller coaster for sure it's a steep learning curve and they make it look so easy it took years and years for artists to become as good as they are like I I know that Shailen for instance has been reborn for eight years and she posted images that she had done of the same kit I think it was her 71st it was her 71st and then 200 and something and then the third was 502 I believe and just to see her progression is just beautiful like she's amazing anyway and I'm so glad to be learning from her but I do find that I still do my own thing a lot of the time because I'm just a free spirit you know that's it okay so the third word to describe my reborning journey has been or is overwhelming it's been overwhelming in a sense of like I want many kids <laughs> You know, I look at all the new kids that are coming out, I'm like, I want that. But then it's like, I also want this older kid that was released. Let me turn this beautiful orchid over to you so you can see it. Oh my goodness. She's gorgeous. Anyway, so overwhelming because there's so many kids and an abundance of different mediums, an abundance of paint colors, an abundance of tutorials, of everything. And of course, I'm taking my class. And it's just it's just all so much information and it's overwhelming also because it's like you're trying to learn something new and do a good job and it can be overwhelming when it doesn't go well so but that's number two that was roller coaster but overwhelming um can be negative or positive depends how you take it but yeah overwhelming is not really the best because you want to be level-headed because you know you need to paint and it's nice to be in flow I try to turn her so you can see her okay yeah so my fourth word to describe my reborning journey so far is reborning is fun like it's fun you know sure I mean it's fun to open a box and be like yeah someone made me this baby or this custom I love her I love I love him and like I'm so excited but to reborn your own is quite special. It's really special. It's like not, there's nothing like it because um, you get to, you decide exactly how this reborn will look. Of course, it's based on your skill level, but yeah, you decide and you keep going and you keep changing things as you want to. With air dry paint, it's a bit harder to go ahead and change things when they're already set, when they dry, which is literally seconds later. But you have your correction fluid, you know, which you can use to hopefully not strip this flesh layers like I did but um yeah so reborning is fun it's exciting I especially like when I get to the details of course I like modeling even but I'm not sometimes I just feel though it pulls a little bit too much it's a bit I don't know but um I like what else do I like about oh I like when I get to put the magnets in because then I can see the passies how the passies look and whatnot that's like really good and really really fun really really fun um yeah it's just fun to also watch people's videos and see what they're doing see tutorials and see people's box openings and yeah um I recently saw some disappointing box openings and I was just so sad for them, like that someone sent them a baby like that, or someone was dishonest, or it just breaks my heart. And I would take great care in how I package and send my. So I just put this little one down for the night. Luckily, she will stay sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, she's just in her bed. 
a little travel pillow here, a little ribbon here, don't mind the heater. And yeah, she is out. And this little bassinet has sounds, so let's play her a sound. I like this one. I think this is a Oops. I like the sound, it's really nice. You can also do vibration with this thing. But yeah, she's out. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you want future videos. Bye!